What's up, YouTube? We're back to the video. This is my first video of 2K25. And I'll be going with some snipe filters because you guys gotta make your MT. Today we got new three point royalty packs that came out. Let's go quickly check those cards out. We got people like Kiki, Glenn, Corver, some Rubies, Amda, some Sapphires, a lot of cards. Plenty of cards to be able to snipe today. But let's get right on to these filters. Today, filters that I've been looking, I've been using today. If you're low fill, if you're a budget person right now, honestly, either go royalty. Like royalty cards are actually go off or like pop up a lot right now because they're new. I don't really wouldn't recommend the cheapest, but you could run cheapest depending on how much MT you have. If you have like 10k maybe. It's just it is really really minimal profit on these little filters but i can almost guarantee you there will be a lot of times that pop up and some cards some cards go for more than others like some emeralds will go for more than other emeralds for every overall there's some cards that go for more but if you have low mt i'd recommend probably this filter honestly just go all three point royalty go 750 or whatever 800 i think and just refresh, refresh, refresh. Buy any gold for like 700 and any emerald you see. And any other card you see. Buy it instantly. Sell it back. Next filter. Give more MT. Sapphire and rubies are actually... Sapphires and rubies are really good filters for royalty cards today. Go look at royalty for sapphires real quick. They're going for around 5,800. Buying for like 5k or less. Sell them back. There probably there are some other ones that go for more. I just don't really know. The cheap ones are Dan Carlson and then John Sol Sunvold or whatever, and the rest are more expensive. Like let's go look at Eastern. We have Joe Harris, like Novak. They go for like seven k, which is a thousand more than what the other ones go for. You also, um, speaking about this sapphire, you can do. Gems, gem, gem of the game before these packs came out, like they're like the best cheap filter in the game. Gems have been very like, I mean not consistent, but like the best way to make MT really, if you're gonna snipe. Um, throughout since the game has came out so far, you see these guys go for, go for like 3,500. Some of them go for more, some of them go for less. So like some of you, every card you get on this filter. You gotta make sure you double check this price. I use filter for a little bit just to see if I can get anything off of it. I got one of these sapphire for 700 MT. A pretty decent snipe, honestly. 2000 ish profit on the card. You can see, like, it's right here. There's George Lynch to do. Pretty nice profit. But let's get into our next filter. We, we can do ru some Ruby filters. We have some options. We have Ruby Western. We, Ruby Western is not a bad filter. Because, uh, if we go look at all cards like you see these eastern cards go for so low in price go look at western they go for 2000 buying for 1600 or less and easy profits easy profits all day on this filter you see like all there's so many other cards there's some rubies that go for more though but i don't really know them exactly right now because i don't really i don't use this filter this much that much i used it for a little bit Another filter we have, we have Ruby. We have either gems. Gem Ruby was my was my, my favorite filter to start the game. I don't know why, but it was. Gem Ruby for 10k. Might not be very consistent, but you can get some pretty good snipes on here. And then you got the new one today. Ruby 3 point royalty. We're looking at I think it goes for like 14.5. Yeah, 14.5. There was a guy, I don't know, his name's Tracy something. Goes for like 18k or whatever. So if you see him on the filter, buy him instantly. So they set your filter at like 14.5. And buy him for anything around 12 or 12 or less. It's easy profit. Might not be consistent, like that crazy consistent, but no, nothing really is. Right now. Filters are very dry to start off the year. That's my that's my favorite rubies and lower filters. If you want to go more more now. We're getting more in the slower filters now. Amps filter. Amy cheapest. I have honestly never ran Amy cheapest in a while. 
because I don't really think there's any point. But because this Tatum dude, bro, there's no reason really. How much did Tatum? Tatum go for he go for so such a low price, 12k. All the rest go for more. My favorite thing to do is the Pacific Amethyst filter for the glass type Amies. I guess they go for 19k right now for Booker, but the rest of them go for like probably 30. 29 for AD. 20 for LeBron. I mean, so 27 for AD and KD. 24, I guess 24. I don't know, but like, it's a good filter. There is a very good, very good Ang filter. That's, not, that's what I would use if you're going for Amis. Go Pacific. Go like 18. I'll buy the card, honestly. Take the little profit. I mean, yeah, I'll profit like a thousand maybe on that card. I'll just like, it's free profit, you know. Amy filter. If you want to go Amy filter, do Pacific. Do the Sixers if you want with the new Dana Barrows guy today for three point cards. Uh, but Embiid, I don't know how much Embiid is. Embiid, 21k. The new Dana Barrows guy goes for like 30k. So you could do filter like 20, 24k maybe. Buy it, you draw it for like 18, 17k. And any Dana Barrows you see, buy it obviously because free profit. It's not. I wouldn't recommend doing it. I would just recommend doing Pacific, Ami, and then your big filters. You either got full throttle, full throttle, min bio, 100k, or you, you could do Diamond Lowest also, but I honestly haven't used Diamond Lowest really that much. You go 100k full throttle, uh, you could also go 100k min bio, min bid if you want. And you can see on this filter, you can see Braun, you can see Wilt, and you can see Westbrook. All pretty good snipe right there. Then, if you want to do all, this filter is, you don't see Braun, but you see the new ones like Glen Rice, Corver, Kiki. You go your 100k min buyout or 100k min bid if you want to go, if you want to change the bid up. Only thing that sucks if you change the bid out is you won't be able to see the cards that go for 500 bid, which kind of sucks, which does hurt the filter. But you can see all this, all this card. Like, I, on this filter earlier today, I missed Kiki. It's not that bad of a miss. I don't even know if he's snipe yet, snipe anymore. I don't know. But filter isn't bad. Or if you just want to chill on a filter that you could get cheap diamonds for, or maybe 100k diamond, just go three point royalty, diamond, 500 min buyout, refresh, refresh, refresh. You see a card, buy it. Unless it's Kiki. Kiki's risky, it looks like right now. Glenn Rice is not Glenn Rice is for sure profit. Corbett profit. And Kiki is questionable. So make sure you like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.